Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to help you fix the srttrail.txt error. This issue usually pops up when you're troubleshooting Windows or trying to boot your computer and suddenly get that error screen. I'll walk you through a few different methods you can try, and hopefully, one of them will get your system back to normal. So, let's get started. When you see this screen, click on Advanced Options, then go to Troubleshoot and select Advanced Options. Here you'll find several recovery tools. The first one we'll use is Command Prompt. Click on it and Command Prompt window will open. Now, type BCD, edit and press enter. You'll see a lot of details on the screen. Look for the drive letter where Windows is installed. In my case, it's E drive, but on your system, it might be different. Once you know your Windows drive letter, type the following commands one by one. First, type boot rec forward slash fix MBR and press enter. Next type boot rec forward slash fix boot and press enter. If it shows access is denied, don't worry. We'll fix that with the next command. Now type boot sect forward slash NT60 SYS and press enter. This will repair the boot sector. After that, type boot rec forward slash fix boot and press enter. This time it should say operation completed successfully. Next, go to your Windows installation drive, for me, that's E drive, and then type chkdsk forward slash f forward slash x and forward slash r, then press enter. This will scan your drive for errors and fix them, but it might take a little while, so be patient. Once the disk check is complete, close the command prompt and click continue to restart your computer. Hopefully, this will fix the problem, but if it doesn't, then don't worry. We'll try another method. Go back to the same screen, select Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options again, and this time choose Startup Settings. Then click on Restart button. After restart, it will show you several startup setting options. We will choose Enable Safe Mode option at number 4, so press the number 4 key on your keyboard to boot into Safe Mode. After your PC restarts, you'll enter safe mode, where we'll continue troubleshooting. Now that you're in safe mode, open command prompt and make sure to run it as administrator. Once it's open, type this command, dism forward slash online forward slash cleanup dash image forward slash restore health. After typing this command, then press enter. This will scan your Windows image for any corrupted system files and replaces them with healthy files from Windows Update. It might take a while to complete, so please be patient while it runs. After it's complete 100%, now close the command prompt and restart your computer. I hope this will fix the problem. But if you still face the same error, blue screen, then let's try another method. Go back to troubleshooting screen. Then again, go back to advanced options and you can select system restore setting. It will now start the system restore process. Click on next. And if you see any restore points listed with previous dates, select one and click finish. A warning message will pop up saying, once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Click yes to proceed. Your computer will begin restoring Windows to that earlier state, which usually takes around 5 to 10 minutes. After that, your system should boot normally again. If you don't have any restore points available, don't worry. We'll try another method. Go back to the Advanced Options screen and select Reset this PC. Choose Keep my files so your personal data stays safe and then pick Local Reinstall. This will reinstall Windows while fixing any missing or corrupted system files. Hopefully, one of these methods helps you get your system back up and running. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.